LGBTQ plus brothers and sisters, friends, family, and allies. I'm your soul coach, Jeremy Ryden, hoping you're healing deeply and living fully. And this is part of the Pride Astrology series where I share different natal placements and aspects for people that fall on different spots along the sexual spectrum. Today, we're going to talk about a very powerful planet when it comes to sexual orientation. Pluto. We can't talk about sexual identity without looking at the planet Pluto. Why? Because Pluto rules sex. It rules the genitals. It rules the eighth house. What is eighth house? Eighth house is your sexual desires. It's taboo sex. All things sexual. So we definitely got to look at Pluto in the natal chart when we're talking about pride astrology. You know, today I want to talk specifically for same gender loving couples and transgender people. When we're looking at same gender loving couples, we want to look at the fourth and tenth house. The fourth and tenth house, if you got Pluto there, there's a really high chance that you're homosexual or lesbian. Why is that? Because the fourth and tenth house rules masculine and feminine energy. We call it the house of the mother and the father, but it's masculine and feminine energies. And it's these energies that make up our orientation, our identity, our desires. It was taught that when Pluto was found in the fourth or tenth, it was saying that the soul coming into this lifetime was choosing to be a new gender that they have never been before, or that they haven't been for many, many lifetimes. And why would the soul choose to be a different gender than what it was in the past life? Because it's all about growing as a soul. It's all about taking these life lessons to expand our spiritual essence. So if someone's been a man for many lifetimes and learned a lot of lessons from being in the man body, now it's saying, I want to experience what it is to be in a female body and learn the lessons that my soul can learn by being in the female gender. So we'll see a lot of people that are in the fourth or 10th house, why lesbian and gay? Because if you were a man for many, many lifetimes, and now you got Pluto in the 10th or 4th, you're being born a woman. But because this is such a new experience for you with the feminine energy, you still have a lot of, as a woman, masculine traits. And you still have a lot of experiences being a man in the past of having sexual relationships with women. So even though you're a woman in this lifetime, there is the tendencies to still feel more comfortable and desiring to be with Ladies, creating the lesbianism. Same thing with homosexuality. You could have been a woman for many, many years, lifetimes. In this incarnation, you're a newly in the man body. But even though you're a man, you got a lot of feminine characteristics, a lot of feminine tendencies. And that as a man, even though you're newly in this body, you still remember being that female for so many lifetimes and having so many wonderful sexual experiences with men that that masculine energy still feels being drawn to it sexually, naturally. Now, listen, there's no right or wrong when it comes to characteristics or traits. I'm just trying to explain from astrology perspective that for many same loving people, same gender loving people, we see Pluto in the fourth and tenth because they are now entering into this new uh, uh, gender for the first time. Outside of that, I want to talk about transgender people. This is brought to my attention from one of my transgender subscribers, and I think I got the best subscribers. And if you belong to uh, the GLBTQ plus family, uh, subscribe below. If you're an ally, subscribe below. We really want to have uh, information and empowerment out there for everybody. With that being said, one of the subscribers, transgender subscribers, said that he had noticed, uh, or she had noticed, that in a lot of her transgender friends, they have Pluto in the first. Well, why would they have Pluto in the first? Because Pluto is about destruction. It's about tearing down to reveal, rebuild, reintroduce a more authentic expression. So the first, ha first house rules the physical body. So Pluto in the first house, we see someone that in some ways are tearing down their physical body and rebuilding it, reshaping it, reforming it to their more authentic expression. So I think that that very well could show a lot of transgender people who have chosen to be transgender in this lifetime and experience what a transgender uh, life path is all about, have Pluto in the first house. So if you're transgender, gay, bi, doesn't matter what your orientation is, know that 
your soul is lovely, it's beautiful, and that all sexual experiences is beautiful as long as you're embracing who you are. We'll see you in the next video.